Yo, what is good, my little big What is good? Sales at work, cold black, pretty nutty stuff. I pretty much expected so now that we have gotten so many things popping off early on. I definitely am looking forward to any happiness <laughs> to come out of this show because it's definitely not. We're losing white blood cells, we're losing. Uh, kidney cells, we're losing everybody, and most of the people that are going out first are the older cells of their respected positions, most of them sacrificing themselves, it started with a red blood cell, and now we're getting all the way to a kidney one, you know, we even saw the, um, the hair, what, the hair matrix or whatever, they were also had an old, like, everybody has someone old that pretty much just can't live in this environment anymore, right? Like, this environment in general is getting so bad that only the young could survive, and most of them are only surviving because the old are sacrificing themselves, knowing there's a chance for them to live longer to serve out the purposes that they have been passed down to them. Just with the red blood cells at the beginning with the two people pretty much just going out instantly that were mentors and like big big people that have been working for a while getting absolutely destroyed quickly but hopefully there's a lot of blood graduations in this body because this one episode alone turning the year in the way it did just was like 50 of them like it was like 50 60 of them so regardless of what happens they're losing cells dramatically quickly and it's nowhere in sight to seem to be stopping and i think that's the scary part is if all this stuff keeps happening we almost lost a whole kidney this week just to better the situation get rid of a kidney to save lives or to save the body in general so that's the type of stuff we're getting into and this week with the red blood cell spreading his way of wisdom his way of thinking his way of moving forward it's really hitting home with everybody just like how it's hitting home for him to see others losing mentors and older people they look up to so it's this constant cycle of losing and losing and losing to then get up and do it again the next day so <clears throat> with that being said I am terrified of what's coming up next, right? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure if they can handle it. I'm not sure if the people we like are going to make it. But to be fair, all the people I like are getting quite a bit of screen time. Um, I'm glad the T-cells weren't called after how much damage they've done and how little rest they've had probably since that situation. So... T-cells weren't called in, which is good, because they would have eradicated probably more than they needed to, but <clears throat> this week's episode was mainly saved to the person of the body doing stuff outside, and then it got messed up because when something outside came in, it brought germs and bacteria with it, so <clears throat> even when you're trying to help yourself, you're still putting yourself in danger. That's the type of world we live in, 24-7. Whatever you do to your body, it can uh, add up to something negative. And this is what this show is telling us. It's also telling us sometimes the symptoms of why it happens and how it could be cured. So it's kind of a really good learning tool for people that just don't care anymore, right? Like you care about anime enough. This anime cares enough about the body to try to teach you about it and make it visually pleasing and fun to watch. So applause to them. Code Black is ridiculously dark and crazy, but it's due to that because there's so many episodes. But with that being said, I got to get to work and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.